welcome language learners from all around the globe to Listen Up, the podcast that takes you on a captivating voyage through the English language. Whether you've just started your journey or have been navigating the intricacies of English for some time, this podcast is designed to be your trusty compass, guiding you towards fluency and unlocking the wonders of English. I'm your host, Karen, a passionate traveller and an experienced teacher of English as a second language. Join me as we embark on an exciting expedition filled with British history read by a native speaker. Together, we'll conquer the challenges and celebrate the victories of learning English as a foreign language. Each episode of Listen Up will immerse you in a variety of topics from aspects of British culture, history and literature. We'll explore useful vocabulary that will empower you to communicate confidently in English. If you want to read along with the podcast, head to my website www.onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. But this podcast isn't just about learning English in isolation. It's about building a community of language learners, supporting one another and fostering a love of the English language. I encourage you to engage with us through my Patreon page where you can connect with fellow learners, ask questions and share your own language journey. So whether you're sipping tea in Tokyo, walking the streets in Sao Paulo or studying in a bustling cafe in Berlin, Listen Up is here to accompany you on your quest for English fluency. Join me as we embark on this transformative expedition where language becomes an adventure and your dreams of effective communication become a reality. Today's episode is called Fish Fingers. In British culinary history, few innovations have affected us as much as the humble fish finger. These golden brown strips of breaded fish served with a side of nostalgia have become a beloved staple of British households. However, the story of their arrival on British shores is a tale of culinary invention, entrepreneurship, and a dash of serendipity. To understand the advent of bird's eye fish fingers in Britain, we must first acquaint ourselves with the pioneer behind frozen food, Clarence Birdseye. Born in Brooklyn, New York, in 1886, Birdseye was a visionary inventor and entrepreneur. He developed a fascination with preserving food in his early years, especially in remote locations where fresh produce was scarce. This fascination would lead him on a journey that would eventually result in the creation of the first frozen food. Birdseye's breakthrough came during a trip to Labrador, Canada in 1922. While observing the Inuit people, he noticed their ability to quickly freeze freshly caught fish in the frigid Arctic temperatures. This revelation inspired him to develop a quick freezing process that preserved the taste and quality of food. Although Birdseye's revolutionary quick freezing technique was patented in 1927, It wasn't until the 1930s that he began experimenting with various frozen food products. In 1933, Birdseye introduced the world to a game-changing innovation, fish fingers. However, it wasn't in Britain, but in the United States that these fish fingers first made their debut. The debut of Birdseye fish fingers in America marked a significant milestone in the evolution of frozen foods. The convenience, affordability, and consistent quality of these frozen fish sticks quickly gained popularity among American consumers, paving the way for the global expansion of this frozen delight. In the years following the introduction of bird's eye fish fingers in the United States, the product's reputation continued to grow. The post-World War II era was a time of recovery and renewal in Britain and the convenience of frozen food was poised to capture the imaginations and appetites of the British public. 
It was on this day, 26th of September 1955, that the true British fish finger revolution took place. Birdseye, recognising the potential of the UK market, launched their fish fingers officially under the name Bird's Eye Fish Fingers. This momentous event occurred at the height of Britain's post-war optimism and the embrace of new technologies, making it the perfect time for the introduction of this innovative product. The launch of Bird's Eye Fish Fingers in Britain was met with enthusiasm and curiosity. British consumers were initially intrigued by the novelty of frozen fish as a quick and convenient meal option. However, it was the taste and quality that truly won them over. Bird's Eye's commitment to using sustainably sourced fish and the meticulous freezing process ensured that each fish finger retained its flavour and texture. They were an instant hit with families seeking a convenient and delicious meal option that required minimal preparation. Over the years, bird's eye fish fingers have become a cultural icon in Britain. They have appeared on countless dinner tables, school lunch trays, and even in popular TV advertisements featuring the catchy jingle, only the best for the captain's table. These fish fingers transcended their humble origins, becoming a symbol of comfort, reliability, and a connection to childhood memories for many, including me. And that wraps up another episode of Listen Up. I hope you enjoyed learning about my topic today and practicing your English. Remember, the exploration doesn't have to end here. If you have any lingering questions or want to continue the conversation, I've got some great opportunities for you. First off, I offer private lessons for those of you eager to expand your knowledge further, whether it's practicing today's subject or exploring other topics. I'm here to guide you on your English journey. Reach out to me through my website or social media platforms and let's embark on a personalized learning experience together. I have been involved with training people for more than 10 years. I've been teaching English as a second language for over a year, in which time I have taught over 500 students, many of whom are regulars. But wait, there's more. If you're a devoted fan of Listen Up and want to show your support, consider joining our Patreon community. Your contribution directly helps us bring you more episodes and maintain the quality of our show. Your support truly means the world to me and we couldn't continue this podcast without you. So whether you choose private lessons or Patreon or both, I look forward to staying connected and exploring the fascinating realms of English as a second language together. Thank you once again for joining us on Listen Up. Until next time, keep practicing. Thank you.